Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Take 10. A few notes before we begin. The session will be recorded live. We encourage you to use the live chat function. All chats will be monitored by a member of our team. However, they will not be part of the recording session. Recordings will be uploaded to our YouTube channel within 24 to 48 hours. And stay tuned till the end for your chance to win an incredible prize package with a retail value of over $100. My name is Karen Labukane. I will be your presenter for today. And Barb DeRocher will be our moderator. Barb and I are both counselors with Northern Lakes College. Today's topic is anxiety. Definition. Anxiety is feelings, feelings, or thoughts of worry, nervousness, or unease about an upcoming event with an uncertain outcome. It just means that you do not know what's going to happen, so you're anxious, anxious about it, and you worry. And these are short-term feelings. Everyone will experience some feelings of anxiety from time to time. You may be worried as a student. You may be worried about an exam coming up or an assignment that's coming due, or you may be worried about your child or a family member. And as a student, I remember having financial worries. As a student, you're not going to get rich, so you're going to have financial worries or health issues. Anxiety can cause physical as well as psychological and emotional issues. Your heart may race, you might be shaky, or you may start to sweat may affect your mood, and you can be cranky or distracted. One of my anxieties is winter driving. As soon as the weather starts to get bad, I get a little anxious and distracted. I was in an accident a few years ago, so I get a little, I get a little nervous. So once I get in my car, I take a few deep breaths, talk to myself, tell myself, you can do this and I keep going. And these are normal reactions. Once the event has happened or the issue has been resolved, the anxiety should also pass. As I said, like with my winter driving, once I get to where I'm going, I'm fine. Or I get on the road and see that the roads are fine, then I'm good. Here are some ideas to help you deal with anxiety. <clears throat> Take care of yourself. Practice self-care. Some people like, for example, soaking in the tub. If that's what you like to do, try to make some time for yourself to do that. Try to remain calm. Try to maintain healthy eating habits. Eat at home as much as possible. Make your own meals. And throw in some fruits and vegetables. And they don't have to be always have to be fresh. Frozen ones work just as well, too. Try to limit sugar and fast food. They are full of salt and preservatives. And <laughs> anyway, I know they taste good, but try to limit that. Try to limit your caffeine. Too much coffee makes people jittery and dumpy and nervous. So try to limit your coffee and drink more water. It is so important to drink water. I had a, a back, my back was sore there a few years ago, so I was seeing a, psycho, a chiropractor. And she could tell when she was manipulating my back and my legs and stuff, she could tell whether I had been drinking enough water or not. So it does make a difference. And try to get some physical activity daily. Doing something as simple as going for a walk. You get outside, you get some fresh air, get get moving and it'll get your endorphins engaged those feel-good hormones in your brain get them going and maintain your personal hygiene sometimes when in these times when everybody's stuck at home sometimes we forget to we just get up and we get going so but don't neglect your personal hygiene jump in the shower Brush your teeth, wash your hair, fix your hair, put some makeup on. Keep that, don't, don't stop doing that. 
and be good to yourself. If you had a bad day, just say, had a bad day. Tomorrow's going to be better. Don't beat yourself up. Build a support system for yourself and keep in touch with them. We all get busy, life gets in the way, and we forget. But keep in touch with them, or maybe you'll think, like, well, they don't call me, so I'm not going to call them. But you make the first move and keep in touch. Just a short call, just to say, hi, how are you doing? Just wanted to, just thinking about you, just wanted to check in. And you keep that support system going so that if something actually happens or you need some support, you know someone's there for you and you can call them. So keep in touch. Practice gratitude. Every day, think about something you're grateful for. It doesn't have to be anything big, just some, some little thing that you can say thank you for. That'll also get your endorphins engaged. Everyone is dealing with some anxiety at some point especially these days with the COVID-19 and the isolation that has come with it. Almost everyone is becoming more anxious. But everyone, please be safe. All the rules that have been put out by the health experts, wear a mask. There's some pretty cool ones out there. You walk in the st every store you go into, they've got masks right by the counter or through the store. It's getting to be big, big business. But there are some cool ones out there. Or make your own, design your own, and wash your hands, and don't touch your face, and maintain a safe distance when you are out in public. If your anxiety does not pass, ask, pass, ask for help. There's a difference between anxiety and anxiety disorder. An anxiety disorder is much more serious and Will need, will need to be addressed. Counselors with Northern Lakes College are here to help. Bob DeRocher, Charlotte Cardinal, Karen Campbell, and myself, Karen Babakin. We are here to listen and to help. <clears throat> we are not clinicians or, and we will not diagnose you, but we will listen and we will help. If you need additional support, we will help you find it. Our information will be listed on the last slide. And because you sat through this and listened to this take 10, you can now enter this week's draw, prize draw is, will, will close November the 5th at 3.30. And to enter, you just email counseling at Northern Lakes College and in the subject line, put in call. And you will be entered into one of the prize draws one of the wellness swag bags. I've not seen them myself, but I've heard there's some pretty cool stuff in there. So put your name in there. And thank you for listening, or thank you for tuning in to you. And you're not alone. We are here to help. Counseling services can be reached at the toll-free number, 1-866-652-3456, extension 3222. Or you can email counseling at northernlakescollege.ca. If you can also call the campuses, most of the AFs are back working at the campuses. So if you give them a call or any campus, the AF, ask the AF to be transferred to counseling services, student counseling services, and they can transfer you. And Karanda will monitor the call and direct you to one of the counselors. We all cover specific, we are assigned specific campuses, but we cover for each other as well. If one of us is not available for our specific campus, someone else will, will be available. So please reach out. We want to help and we want everyone to be successful. So have a good week and uh, we will be talking to you again. Thank you.